Hello, well, Steve White, Steve Arts 89. Well, billion dollar Barbie. We all knew she was going to get there. Barbie's made a billion dollars. Now, I'm not going to get into the dollars and cents overwards, but um, it's pretty amazing. But, I mean, I'm not surprised it's been successful. I'm surprised at how successful, but I'm not surprised it was successful. And what I am surprised by is how many people doubted it would do well. How many people had that 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 assumption about a female film, a female-led film, a female... Um, aimed film aimed at a female audience wouldn't do or couldn't do well and the just assumption that it couldn't do as well as a film led by or targeted to men i just found it so bizarre that these intelligent people were still looking at the film now i kind of could understand beforehand maybe having those misconceptions but after the first weekend after the first week after the second week after the second weekend people were still in the mindset of, oh, it, it can't do as well, it, it can't, it won't do, and I'm like, it's tracking better than Mario Brothers, if it doesn't overtake Mario Brothers in the end, because a lot of, it's, a lot of people are doubting that it's going to have longevity. First, they were doubting it was going to make money. They Even the studios themselves underestimated it by like tens of millions of dollars with the box office it made the first weekend. They, they, they still were just, just this assumption that, no, that, that can't do as well as the, the, the male-centred films and the male character. This, the patriarchal conditioning these people have where, where they can't even conceive of, even in the face of it happening in front of them. This is fascinating to watch. I was watching John Campier and he was like, I just, I just can't believe that... And he was basically saying, well, a lot of kids saw this film, saw Mario Brothers after the fact and kept seeing it. And I'm like, and women are doing that and they're taking their boyfriends and their whole families with them um that's going to be enough to balance out like okay this film had a lot of kids going to see the film over and over again well this film has a lot of adults going seeing it more than once and taking their whole families with them and their partners and their boyfriends and everyone is taking everyone to go see it people are going in groups people are dressing up in pink and having pink cocktails and making an event out of it and even with weeks of that they still are oh, i can't imagine that's going to do better than Mario Brothers. I'm not sure if it's going to beat Mario Brothers. Mario Brothers is one billion three hundred and fifty million at this point, and it's still in the cinemas and still making a little bit of money. So it's not totally done, but it's kind of done. Um, I don't know if they're if it's if they're actually going to beat it because it's still you know three hundred or so million away, and that's a lot of money. Um, but the way it's tracking, it was tracking more than Mario, and unless there's a reason for it to drop off suddenly towards the end it should get there. Now, I'm not sure why it wouldn't keep going at this pace and why it wouldn't outsell it, but um, maybe the patriarchy was, is so threatened by Barbie being the biggest film of the year and beating Mario Brothers that they just can't handle it and maybe they'll find some way to, to, um, to sabotage it because the usual haters and the misogynists and the alt-right extremists and conspiracy theorists, they tried to take this film down. They tried so hard and it didn't work. The target audience loved it and didn't and didn't listen to them, probably didn't even know who they are, because they, I think it's mainly men who sit around listening to these um, men of a certain type, who li sit around listening to these other toxic men, you know, trying to propagate the patriarchy, and, um, you know, as, as a gay male who isn't a part of the patriarchy, who isn't accepted as part of it, um, I'm not particularly attached to it, I don't mind if it falls, I don't want a matriarchy to replace it, because that wouldn't be any better, I'd like something where we're all equal, truly equal, not this pretend equal where um but that's a whole nother video but um yeah the message the film has that people are m misconstruing and misrepresenting and misreading maybe um is getting through or not bothering people some people are just there for the pink they don't care about what what's underneath the film they're not looking any deeper and the people who are looking deeper seem to be finding what they want to see and even the people who hate it are seeing what they want to see because they've found something to hate and criticize and attack and, and do endless videos about 40... Ben Shapiro did a 45-minute video, where a 43-minute video, I think it was, where he burnt Barbies on a barbecue. I mean, and he... They just did that for views. They're not... I mean, are they really outraged? Are they really surprised? Do they really not see a female-targeted audience uh, film... Um, with a, a female star and a female director based on a female toy, which is incredibly popular and has been for decades. Do they really not see this this being successful? I mean, they did seem to be surprised by um, the social commentary and, and um, subversive sort of, um, sort of swapping, um, 
reversing of the patriarchal sort of norms that we live in, that they, that they sort of didn't see that coming. They did sort of jump on the hate bandwagon late. I think they thought maybe it was just going to be a silly girl movie, you know, little kitty movie and not have to worry about it. They did get on that late, so maybe they didn't see it coming. But either way, she's made it to a billion dollars. She's going to make it well over a billion dollars. Is she going to make more than Mario Brothers? It's quite possible. Uh, she'd have to, there'd have to be some reason for it to decline and slow down towards the end. But if it keeps up the same pace that it's got now, and just trails out like it, you know, like it normally would, I think it's going to beat Mario Brothers. Um, and I'm surprised at how many people are still doubting that and questioning that and whatever. But um, I'm going to go, I just wanted to celebrate you know, my billion, billion dollar Barbie, and I'm going to start collecting Barbies. I've got celebrity Barbie dolls, but not actual Barbie Barbies, but there's a few that I wanted, particular ones my sister had when I grew up. I want them, so I'm going to get them, and I'm going to have no shame. I'm going to be quite proud of my Barbies, so I'm going to go.